Hello everybody, my name is Chris Reed and today we are continuing our tutorial series A to Z in Reason Studios. In this video, we will be covering the Kong Drum Designer. The Kong Drum Designer is an instrument inside of Reason where you can actually use it to create drum samples, drum kits, and also it can be used as a sample loop player. Let's jump into Reason so we can check out the Kong Drum Designer. I'm here inside Reason where we're going to be checking out the Kong Drum Designer. Let's start off by looking at an empty patch. The Kong Drum Designer is made up of these 16 pads here found right in the middle of the Kong Drum. Each pad can be assigned to a different drum module or you can assign each pad to the same drum module. So the drum modules we have is an NN Nano, which is basically just a sampler like the NN19 or the NNXT. We have Nurse Rex Loop Player, a play off of the Dr. Octo Rex Loop Player. So that's a doctor, this is a nurse. So you kind of think of how a nurse works. They work alongside the doctor. So it has some functionalities, but not all the functionalities of the Dr. Octo Rex Loop Player. You can check out the video we did on that right here above in the card. Another one is the physical bass drum, which is actually a way where you can change these knobs and tune this and get a completely customized drum. And you could just spend time in there and you can just make as many of those drum samples as you like. We also have a physical snare. Same thing, you can change these parameters around and get a different sound. We have a physical tom. The synth bass drum, which can be used for like 808 sounds and, and electronic bass drum sounds. Synth hi-hat, same thing. Synth snare. And synth tom. So with these physical and synth bass sounds, you can actually create your own drum patches that are completely uh, unique to what you create. The Kong drum design is really cool because you have these two effects panels where you can add in effects to each of those individual pads. So you have add up to two extra effects like a compressor and an EQ and that's specific just to that pad. It also has a bus send effect which could be used for things like echoes and reverbs and a master effects which is more like for like compressors to affect the entire drum kit. With some clever patchwork, if you flip the rack around, you can actually use these effects inside of other instruments as well. So that's the base layout of the Kong Drum Designer. Now let's go a little deeper in with the pads. Now with each pad, as I said before, they are assigned to their own number. As you can see, as we change the pads, the pads actually change in this section over here. This is our preview window for the drum module that we are using. However, we actually can assign each pad to a different pad. So maybe I want all of the pads to be assigned to the first pad. And there is a reason why we would do something like this. All right, so I'm going to show you guys something cool that you can do with the Kong Drum Designer. You can actually turn this into an MPC style loop playing device where it will play out different parts of the loop as you strike different keys. So first thing we need to do is use this quick edit button and make sure all of the pads are set to the first pad. And really you can do this for any pad, it really doesn't matter, but I'm just going to be using the first pad. The next thing we want to do is change each of these to be on the second type of hit. Now it doesn't make sense right now, but when we add in our device, you'll see why we changed them all to hit number two. And if you want, change that last one to number four. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually save this patch and this is going to be my Kong MPC sample player. If you have a Dr. Octorex loop that you've created using Reason, then you can simply drag that loop over to the first drum pad and now it is set to play that loop just the same way you would play it as an MPC. It automatically maps out the sample and the slices so that you have an even amount of slices across the 16 pads. So we're going to go ahead and take this and drag it over to that first pad 
And now we have this sample has been sliced up and put into each of these different pads. And because we have them set to our second hit type, which is a chunk trigger, it will actually trigger the chunks that we have created. What's cool about using the drum designer in this way is that you can actually have access to the pitch and other parameters inside of the Nurse Rex, as well as the global pitch and global mod wheel. These things will all affect this sample that has been loaded in. We can also add in reverb, echo, Now I'm gonna show you guys how you can set up the Kong drum designer to use for sampling to where you could use it like an NPC, just like what I just did. And also remember, if you have a Dr. Octo Rex loop, then you can also use the loop player uh, in the same manner. So we're gonna go ahead and first find the sample that we wanna use. And what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use one of the samples from my loop kit, which is available now at chrisreebeats.com for $9.99, go ahead, check that out. But I'll use one of the loops from there. So let's find one that we wanna use. Jilly Scott. Tough guy, I really do like him a lot. All right, so I like tough guy, so we're gonna use tough guy. All right, so the first thing we do is we find our sample and we drag it into the reason sequencer. Once it's inside of the reason sequencer, we need to double click on the file. And a tip that I learned is that if you normalize this clip first, it helps with the slices. So we're gonna open that up and we're gonna go into our slices. So now it's already pre-sliced for you and you pretty much can just use those slices as your slices if you want, or you can go in and delete a few of these, maybe add a few in different places, maybe move them around, right? You know, it's totally up to you how many slices you want, and you can just take time and actually create those slices. Of course, it is a, it is a tedious job, but when you're working with samples, when you really want that good sound, then you just gotta take your time and map out the samples. It's not really the device that's doing the work for you, and it's not really the program that's gonna do the work. It's gotta be you. You gotta be the one to find those samples. And think about it, even before we had uh, digital audio workstations like this, people had to actually use vinyls and really mix in between those vinyls and record the sound in order to sample those tracks so you really are like um, really blessed in a way to be able to use samples and sample your music and in this way it's a lot faster so just take the time and do what you got to do <laughs> All 
All right, cool. So now that we have that sample, we're going to go to bounce and go to clip to Rex loop. And now we have a Rex loop. Let's open up another Kong. All we need to do is drag that over to one of the pads. And once we drag it in, it's already loaded in in a nurse Rex loop player. And the next thing we would need to do is change this to a chunk trigger. And then we would just need to quick assign all of these to number one and quick assign all of these to chunk because we want all of these to be chunks. So we just go through and make sure that they're all set to chunk because we want them all to be chunks. And once they're all set to chunk, we just need to go back here, make sure they're all set to one. So set all the pads to one. And of course, if you do this the first time without any samples loaded in, then you can just save that patch and then that patch is ready for you. All you would need to do is drop in the loop into the first one and now we have it ready to go. Cool. So now we have just given ourselves our copyright strike for the video and um, you could just record that, of course, normalize that, do the same process, uh, normalize clip, double click. Now you have these chops in here. This is a cool. And you can, of course, then bounce that to a Rex loop. Now that you have your Rex loop, you can just do the same thing. Change this one out. This is a All right, so that's a couple ways that you can use the Kong Drum Designer to use as a sample based loop player, uh, just like the MPC. And of course, make sure that you're using that pitch bin. Uh, make sure that you're actually tightening in where you want your samples to begin and everything like that. And yeah, hopefully you found this video useful and you guys can check out the Kong Drum Designer to use in that way. Now, of course, it is a Kong Drum Designer, so you can get in there and you can actually design some of your own drum kits we showed you a little bit of that you also can just use it as a drum module simply load in your own samples and then sequencing sequence those out and then that's how you can do that as well so this beat or uh, this uh, this track that we have here was actually using a patch that's from the sample library for reason a uh, Kong drum patch in the TSB folder So as you can see, the Kong Drum Designer has many different ways that you can use it in your production and creativity. I hope this video was helpful for, to you, and if it was, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, share it with somebody so that they can check the video out. And if you're looking for tutorials such as this one, please make sure to subscribe to the channel because there will be many more videos coming in this series. Thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.